this is a, another one of my new pickups and this is a slightly different one um, I decided to purchase a hairbrush from the body shop now the um, reasonings behind this is because um, um, I usually grow out, um, grow, out, grow, grow out my hair and as, I'm, and as I grow out, grow out my hair right, my hair pretty, pretty much goes back pretty quickly and um, I've used different obviously things to sit there to come up my hair and sometimes it feels like it's tearing out your hair or sometimes you feel like it's, um, it's scratching up your scalp and then my mum um, and me were recently in the body shop and then she wanted um, a new hairbrush and she's used various different types of hairbrushes over the years and none of them to no avail I mean they do the job but then they you know the, the actual experience of actually using it on your hair and your scalp can be quite um, I can't, I can't put it quite hurt, um, it's uncomfortable, so to speak. And what makes this particular hairbrush unique is that the fact that the hair, um, that the brush is actually made from bamboo. Now, my mum's um, got a bigger version of this one, I decided to go for a smaller one, and then she absolutely loves it um, using her um, the bamboo hairbrush. And that's the fact that she said all the years that she's used, say, like a brush, with, um, different brushes that have been available in the shops, and this is probably her favourite one. And she actually liked the fact that how the it actually feels, it's so light. And then when it's brushing her hair, it's actually um, making it, like, really soft. It's not uncomfortable. It's not actually scratching her scalp or feel like it's tearing out your hair or, you know, cutting up your scalp or anything. It actually feels very soothing on her hair and her scalp, so um, that's when I thought to myself, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, I decided to buy myself one. Again, as I said, this is a small one. Obviously, I've had to zoom in a little bit because um, I didn't want to go for the bigger one. This small one um, costs five pounds. The much large one, which you can get for an extra three quid, um, that would cost you eight pounds if you want to um, go for something like this. Um, I've actually tried that, the bigger one, as I said. And actually thoroughly loved it because as I said, I've used like kind of different types of combs, brushes on my hair. And yeah, um same with what my with what my mum experienced. Um it feels it feels very uncomfortable when the brushes that I've used in the past um on my um on my um hair and on my scalp. And then sometimes you want to just obviously style your hair and brush out your hair, especially if you've washed it or you've oiled your hair. And then, some, and then as of all, the, the different various brushes I've used in the past, they do their job, but as I said, they, they just feel um, uncomfortable in the use, you know, on your hair and your, and your scalp. And sometimes it's not just about brushing, out, uh, brushing your hair, but sometimes it's about, you know, you use it to stimulate your scalp as well. Especially, again, as I said, if you've oiled it or have used products on your hair. And as I said, that's what tempted me to sit there to buy this particular one. And as I said, I just needed a a small a, a small one. So yeah, as you can see here, it's it's re uh, you have to take my word for it. It's kind of really kind of light. You can see the bristles on there. I can um, as you can hear it, it's really kind of light. it's really kind of light. And you'd have to take take my word for it. And for me, in how sometimes when you're using whether you you're using combs, hairbrushes, shower gels, razor blades, and shaving, you want something not only just to do um, to do obviously to do the job, but you want the experience of using that particular product in being comfortable, not like it's gonna um, say if you use something you use a, a particular razor and it's rough in your face and yeah it's, you've you've shaved your beard or your facial hair or stubble, but the the actual spirit the actual experience of it feeling uncomfortable while you're performing the task can be kind of again uh, it can be very uh, uncomfortable so sometimes it's like um like you know sometimes if you're wearing um like when you're wearing clothes where um where for me if i'm wearing like jumpers i don't like wearing like those plasticky kind of like um so i don't know how to describe it um jumpers where they kind of make your skin itch as um you know like your the, the jumpers riding on your on your skin for me if I'm wearing jumpers, for example, um, not only do do I want to look good and obviously keep warm, especially in the winter, the autumn and the winter, but you also want 
the jumper in question to feel comfortable. Same thing with jeans. So that's why when I'm wearing jumpers, I tend to wear really, um, really like kind of like um, cashmere type material um, wool on jumpers because again, it keeps you warm. And then when it's brushing against your skin, you it's actually feeling comfortable rather than being a hindrance. And it's the same thing with, like, say, when you use it, this is wool shower gels and certain other products, etc., etc. And it's the same for brushes that you don't want, as I said before, um, that by the time you've combed out your hair or brushed out your hair, for your hair to feel all, um, that, yeah, you may you may look good in the mirror, but you, in actual fact, you actual, your actual hair roots and your scalp feel really sore and uncomfortable. And, and, and that's not what you want. You want to sit there and use the product and feel comfortable. And um, you know, and and leaving you not only looking good but feeling good as well. So again, that's why um, I went for the um, the bamboo um, hairbrush. So as I said before, this small one is for five pounds. The large one is for eight pounds. If you're somebody, whether you got afro or straight hair, um, I would re I would recommend it. Um, if you have, let's like, say, like a wife, like a love, a loved one, or a daughter, and they've got long hair, and then they they like um, generally brushing their hair to you know to keep it looking to feeling good, I would I would recommend you um, buying the bamboo um, you know, hairbrush. So yeah, as I said, if you have a loved one, and then they love them and they brush their hair, and they've got long hair, I would definitely recommend getting something like this to use in the hair and then um and, and trust me once they start using it they're absolutely going to love it um take it from me because i was kind of again a skeptic and then i when i, when I tried that the bigger one I, the bigger version of this i actually i i absolutely loved it and then so that's why i, I went for this and i'm looking forward to sitting there and trying using this in the and using this in the future so yeah this is the um bamboo hairbrush from the body shop Anyway, um, I hope people found this video informative. Um, please feel free to like and to share because that helps um, people um, find me on YouTube. Because obviously, being a smaller YouTuber, um, the algorithms don't go in our favor. And I really would like to um to spread my audience so that more people will see my videos and hopefully get more subscribers at the same time. Um, so feel free to give this video a like. It only takes a mere second just to click on the thumbs up. So please, if you can, give me a thumbs up. If you already haven't, please um, feel free to to subscribe to my channel if you already have it. Because I know that when I've looked in these statistics, which is a hard word to say, um, a lot of people don't sub to my to my channel. So if you already haven't, please feel free if you want to see products like this. You want to see unboxings, whether it's whether it's DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, um, comic comics, statues, and and obviously I do video game plays as well. Um, you'll there's something for everybody, and obviously I do some sometimes food reviews as well, and I'm hoping to do more of that, more movie reviews and more TV shows, and who knows what um what will where, what will pop up in the future. But stay tuned to my channel if you want to see all of this goodness. So anyway, um, take care, bye for now, and wherever you are in the world, stay safe, bye for now.